Hey guys, Common Villager here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star Online. Um, in our last episode, we had uh, continued to do a few more uh, side story missions that pertain to the forest. Um, we had done, uh, let's see here, let me look at them again. We had completed uh, battle training. Uh, we also did a extra quest called uh, The Value of Money. It's a really simple, easy to do quest, and you get a little bit of Meseta for it. Um, we didn't do this quest in last episode because it's a little bit longer than uh, some of these other quests, but we did uh, the fake and yellow uh, instead. However, today we're going to be doing a uh, journalistic pursuit, and it says over here in, in the upper right hand corner, if I can find my cursor, uh, a journalist wants to go down to Ragol. And it says here, client, null, journalist. It's my duty to report what's on Ragol. Take me with you. The reward is 1200 Meseta, which is pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select yes and get this quest started. Alright, and uh, this is Null. She's a Hunamoral. Are you a ranger? Hi, I'm Null Renali, a journalist. Have you seen the online news on Pioneer 2? That's my job. Oh, don't worry about these clothes. I seek the truth, and I want to be able to let everyone know the truth. Information's controlled by the government. We journalists are just given information to broadcast to the public. A long time ago, there was newspaper media. It was a daily report of the truth that journalists collected. I envy the old days. I know there's a way to Ragol via a transporter. Access is restricted. No, I don't want to disclose it. I just want to go to Ragol. What is Ragol like? Was there really an explosion? Does Pioneer 1 exist at all? I want to see the truth with my own eyes. Please go with me. The government wants to restrict the media. They try to monitor uh, us. Excuse me. That's the reason why I'm wearing these clothes, a disguise. But I don't want I don't know how to fight battles. It's your job to guard me. Got it? Well, first I want to check out the central dome. Uh, Please take me around the central dome. Okay, so this is Null. She has a funeral. Um, I hate to do this, but I, I need to pause the video real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to do something AFK. Um, so like I said, this is a Null. She's a funeral, just in case uh, we haven't seen a... Well, we have probably seen a funeral here and there, but that's what they look like anyway. So... This is a this is a pretty easy mission, um, but it does uh, require us to go down to uh, to Force Two, I believe. Um, still going to be uh, grabbing stuff and selling it because you want because uh, uh, right now we're just feeding our mag uh, antidotes, but. Uh, uh, eventually, we'll start when we get to this a certain uh, uh, amount on our decks. We'll be uh, feeding it diamates for power, and diamates cost more money than uh, antidotes. So we're going to want to make sure we save up quite a bit of money for that. Raising the mag itself does uh, require quite a bit of money anyway, because uh, uh, your mag grows up from level one all the way to. Uh, level 200 and uh, we between uh, in the middle of all that you have to grab a bunch of resources for feeding especially diamates because uh, you'll probably go through no telling how many diamates and it costs money to buy them so of course you can find some along the way but probably not going to find enough to, to uh, keep your mag fed but the basic part of this quest, the most important part, is making sure that you don't let Null die. But for the most part, that's really easy because uh, 
Uh, being a ranger, we don't have to worry about doing a lot of uh, close uh, combat. So, well, if you're a hunter, though, you, you, that's something you'd have to worry about. The funny thing about Null is that she's a human roll, and human rolls are usually um, uh, use uh, hunter weapons, but uh, as you see here, you can also use a gun to. But anyway, she says, I'd never guessed. The native animals on Ragol are vicious. Yep. They sure are. So, I hear the sounds of Mothmants in here wanting to kill us. Alright, let's try to take down the Moness. Now, sometimes I'll attack with a normal hard hard combination. It's just so I'll do more damage in one combo. Um, there's certain thing. There's even uh, certain situations where I'll use a, a a hard attack on with every move in the combo. Uh, one thing I didn't, I haven't really mentioned before, is that um, with a normal hard hard combination, um, you can uh, uh, actually keep your enemies at bay that way. It's something I don't think I've mentioned yet. Oh, by the way, we found a music disc. You can find different music discs in the game, and we'll see what this let's see what this one does. It changes the music in the game if we use it. So here we go. Whoa, kind of a creepy music. I've never really listened to a lot of the uh, music on the music discs. There's they're from different uh, games and stuff. Uh, But, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever even listened to this one before. But it'll play the song one time, and then once once it's done, it will, uh, will, uh, go back to the regular, uh, background music. This is the resident residential area, isn't it? This area here? What happened to the people living here? What are these animals? That is a good question. When I guess we'll find out more about... As we go along, oh, we already got some Gigabumas. Take care of these. Try to probably do our normal hard, hard combination. I may miss a little bit. Okay, there we go. Or that may have been Null because Null's a hunter and they don't have as much accuracy as we do. Go ahead and uh, grab some. Like I said, we're going to be continuously grabbing stuff it's a, it's a good habit to have in the beginning like I've, I know I've mentioned it but I I, I kind of stress it because it's easy to it it, it gets monotonous for sure uh, let's go ahead and take out the blue one first there we go let them debuff okay all right cool uh let's see here let's go this way Hopefully this quest won't take too long because I want to get another quest done. And I had I had thought about instead of going to caves, uh, starting a. Uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll explain here in a minute. Uh, there were rumors that a huge explosion occurred, but there's no marks. Something's weird here. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, but I'm not sure yet. I may just. I, the thing about the caves is that the caves is a pretty long area, and I'm not really sure if I want to just do the whole caves uh, mission uh, or the area. But I thought about doing some of the missions first, and then we don't have to do them all. And I, I'm not sure if I kind of want to eventually like take a break in between doing all these uh, side quests. But like I said, I I think it's important to go ahead and get them done. Um, that way, you will have them out of the way. And when you start to find uh, rare enemy parts, well, you'll already have at least the side story part of it done. We still have to do uh, the government quest. And what I think I might do in this episode after we get done with this quest is uh, maybe do a government quest to kind of change things up a little bit and show you how to do that. Because we, uh, 
uh, in normal PSO, uh, like if you're playing like like the GameCube version or or even the DC version, um, you would uh, all you would have to do is, uh, and I think I've explained this before, but just to recap, all you had to do is uh, complete a certain amount of uh, side story missions. And you would gain access to uh, someone who could uh, turn your uh, rare enemy parts that you found uh, and turn them into uh, actual weapons. But um, on on the server, and it may have been an, an original requirement for Blue Burst, I don't know, but uh, on Blue Burst you have to do the side story missions, but you also have to do the government quest up to a certain point. I think it's up to uh, the last uh, one for the mines, but I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've done all the uh, government quests and stuff and side story missions to do that. Um, but I think that's what we'll do in this episode is we'll get this uh, mission done. And then I'll show you uh, how to get uh, the government quests going and stuff. So we have another Booma Go Booma combination here. I try to cover every uh, room in the game because you never know what you're going to find in boxes. You could find something rare. Um, with Red Rail, um, I think it's possible to find uh, something called an ad slot in boxes. We've got a Rappy right here. Just run away to kind of speed things up a little bit. And take it down. Just got some Mercedes from it. Um, but what I was trying to say is that. Uh, with uh, now I gotta think about what I was just saying. But yeah, like add slots. Um, what add slots do is they add a slot to your armor. Now I wouldn't recommend uh, just using an add slot on any kind of uh, common type of armor that you'll find in the game, but like a good rare armor for sure. But in normal mode, I think either in Forest 1 or both, Forest 1 and Forest 2, you can find add slots, which makes Reggie a pretty handy ID for for that. So we're already here in uh, Forest 2, and she says, it's scary. Don't you think so? The people in Pioneer 1 must have started to settle down here, but we haven't met anyone yet. Nobody lives here now. That is true. All right, and we got a healing ring. I don't think this 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 is probably actually the first time we've uh, run into one of these. But what it does is just it, it refills uh, your HP and TP. Also, if you're an android, it will refill your traps, which is a uh, pretty cool, especially like if you're in ultimate mode and stuff. Um, really nice to uh, run into for sure. Good. Uh, like I said, it's also a good trap refill. Let's see, how are we doing on our items? We can still hold about nine more, okay. But yeah. Opening boxes is uh, something I strongly recommend. It's easy. Now, one, one of the things, and uh, like I said, we'll eventually get into the multiplayer part, but I just want to go ahead and mention that while you're, uh, if you're like playing single player, and you know it's good to go ahead and get all the boxes but sometimes there'll be situations like if you're playing multiplayer people will be rushing uh, to point A to point B and type of stuff and just trying to get through either a mission or whatever quickly a lot of times uh, players uh, uh, skip the boxes and that's something where you want to just uh, go with the flow of traffic if you know what I mean and just follow everybody but if you're just doing solo stuff or just playing multiplayer casually, like just doing like a forest through runes uh, run or whatever, then you know you'll definitely want to open the boxes, and usually other players will too. But there are situations like that, and it's it's nothing to really think about now. It's just something I'm randomly mentioning for some reason. But yeah. All right, let's uh, run over here and. Uh, Make the Rappies drop their stuff. Okay. 
Alright, uh, nothing too fancy, but it all turns into Meseta, which is good. Meseta is also something valuable to have as a, a, a something you can use to attack with. We'll find uh, weapons in the game later on that use uh, Meseta to release a powerful attack in weapons. So it's good to always uh, try to keep your Meseta uh, increasing all the time because that way you always have plenty of Meseta. But like I said, when, once we uh, get our mag fed, I'll, I'll stop doing all the sailing and stuff because... Or when I get to a, a certain point where I've got more than enough Meseta to finish feeding the, uh, the mag and everything. And just concentrate on uh, just feeding the mag, and just it, it'll speed things up for sure. But for right, like I said, for right now, and probably at least in normal mode, maybe even beyond, definitely going to be selling stuff for that. But uh, yeah, um, I'm not. I I, I know I want to take a break at one point and maybe do some multiplayer stuff, but. I'm not sure when exactly. Now, no, I, I believe, I believe if her health gets down to, she has taken some damage, but I believe if her health gets down to a certain point, she'll use a, a mono mate or something. And I think they got like an inf infinite supply of them, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. It's just that you don't want her to get surrounded by enemies where they'll all be, just uh, pounding on her simultaneously. That's when she can get killed if she gets killed then you have to start the mission again but yeah we're not gonna let that happen let's see check this room you don't have to do all these rooms if you want to speed up there's just a certain point in the uh, quest that you need to get to and then uh, and then go back to a certain point and then the mission's over but I just want to go ahead and check every room because never know what you can find even in normal forest I mean could find some stuff like even a photon dropper or something like that, which I'll I'll explain about when when, when we actually find one. Ooh, I barked a one disc, and you can actually uh, use these or use this. Uh, I'll, I never really showed you guys the techniques. Here's the foy uh, spell that we learned, and here is Barta, which is an ice attack. Normally, I don't use any simple techs like that. However, like uh, certain boss fights. Uh, Foy does come in handy, uh, but for the most part, I don't really use it. Let's see, do I got enough antidotes? Yes, I do. Let's continue feeding. Once our mag gets to uh, level 35, it will evolve again. Um, and after that, level 50, it will evolve another time. And we'll get uh, each uh, mag... Uh, gets uh, up to three photon blasts, and it's all based on your character's section ID. Um, let's see, your character's section ID, your character's class, and there's a also um, uh, what you feed your mag, of course. Uh, also changes how it looks and everything. Hey, look! Can you see the input device for the weather observation? It works. Perhaps we can access the main computer here. Uh-huh. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we need to hit a switch to uh, make the bridge go up, so we're going to have to find that. It's not where it normally is, so we're going to have to find that. But this quest isn't too awful long, so I want to try to get maybe one... Uh, government quest done just to show you guys if we can work on both the side story missions and the government quests we can be closer to getting some of the just some of the basic stuff that will be very uh, handy later on in the game got a group of rappies socializing here uh, let's see here I think if you exit the room real quick and come back, they'll all try to, yeah. Oh. That one didn't want to wake up. Okay, here we go. Eh, 
getting some armor but none with uh, slots in them. We're going to keep our, our three slot frame because that's really valuable. So let's see here. This switch will lead back to the area we were at that has the control thing that we need to find the on switch for. I believe if we... Oh, more dialogue. Breath. I came here to discover the truth, but... But... I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Bet you don't, didn't really want to come down here after you've seen all that, huh? Okay, I bet that's the switch to the control room. There's also some boxes over here we'll get real quick. Um, just because boxes can contain good stuff in them. Especially uh, later on in the game. But it's a good habit to make. And a bunch of moth mats over here. Well. There we go. We are getting stronger as we keep going, and things will get easier, especially when we start finding better weapons. Now, at the beginning of this series, I showed you guys how to do combinations uh, with how to attack. Now, these combinations uh, will be a little bit different for each weapon. Um, there'll be certain weapons that require you, your timing to be a little bit different than like with a regular handgun or something. And I'll explain that as we go along, but it's something I don't think I've mentioned yet, is that each weapon you find has a different kind of uh, timing on the combinations. Don't just stand there. <laughs> okay. A few more waves of enemies, and I believe there will be uh, an even bigger enemy after these. Yeah, that normal hard hard uh, combination is good to make sure your enemies back away from you. And we have our healed bear. Probably gonna do normal normal hard combination for this guy. Just keep shooting them and keep them stunned. If you're having to attack him with the saber, you'd want to try to strafe around and hit him from behind. That way he can't pommel you. <laughs> see antidotes uh, okay we can't pick up any more items that's fine um, let's go ahead and head back over here and this is uh, kind of where the mission will end for the most part you got to go to the central uh, the control thing over here central dome uh, if 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 there was an explosion why aren't there any signs a lot of people were living there what happened to them was everybody involved in the accident? All of them? And now we go over here to this control panel over here and see what it says. Does it still work? Accessing Pioneer 1. Access denied. It works, but we can't enter the main computer on Pioneer 1 with it. How about the local data? Uh, everything was working okay until it happened. Every log ends at the same exact time. And then from here, you will just walk over here. Hey, Asuka. That's enough. Your job is complete. Why? Well, because I think I saw the truth. I saw a lot of monsters. No marks of an explosion. No survivors. I wanted to report the truth to Pioneer 2, but I changed my mind. I'm pretty frightened now. I'm scared. People on Pioneer 2 already feel uneasy about the situation. I don't want to give them any more anxieties. Maybe something's hidden ahead. I don't think I should find out. I'm too scared to know. That's why I decided to stop here. It's all over. Can you bring me back to Pioneer 2? Yes. But not to go uh, sell some stuff real quick. 
Oh, got a mono grinder. I'm going to go ahead and deposit. Let's see, real quick. Okay, we only need nine more MST till we can uh, use rest of level one, which will be pretty handy to have. Let's go ahead and deposit our mono grinder. I think that's all. Yeah. And the rest we're going to sell. There wasn't anything um, else, I don't think. Get some Maceda. Mag food. And that should be it. Real quick, make sure I don't need it. Yep. One more feeding. Okay, grab some more mag food. I'm gonna say this coming up pretty good. We're up to almost 7k, and plus we'll get uh, 1200 for completing this mission, which will bring us up to close to 8k, so that's good. So let's go ahead and complete our mission here. I think it's a good time to call it quits now. I must return to the residential area before they find us. I really appreciate you helping me out. Don't forget to visit the counter at the Hunter's Guild. Right. And now she's gone, and all we gotta do now is go here to the counter. And we get 1200 Mercedes for doing that. So, let's uh, do the first government quest. So, the first government quest. Uh, to do government quests, you'll have to make a multiplayer game, but we're just going to make it, uh, uh, we'll just put a password on it. And, you know, you could put whatever here, 123, or whatever. I'll just put 321. It really doesn't matter, because no one's going to be joining us, so let's, uh, go ahead and do that. Create the game. And instead of going to the regular guild counter, we're going to go to a different guild counter. Um, which is over here. If you remember in the first episode, uh, I tried to go see the principal. And he should be here now. Here's the principal. And, like, if you're playing the game normally, like on, on GameCube or whatever, you would actually start out talking to... This is uh, Principal Tyrell, and you would end up talking to him about different stuff. And you would also, like, if you were playing the game you'd have to unlock different areas in the game like uh, you'd have to complete forest to unlock caves and caves to mines and mines to ruins and all that good stuff uh, and you'd have to report to him at least like two or three times after you completed uh, or you'd have to talk to him after you completed each area so anyway we're gonna come over here and speak to um, this person how do you do I'm the new receptionist here my name is Momoka Please let me know if I can ever help you out. So, we can assist you finding a job here if you're registered. And uh, we're going to do our first government quest. It says here, urgent missions from the principal. We'll select that. First one's going to be Planet Regal. Go down to Regal service and report on, condi on the conditions there. So we'll select that. Client principal, we need expert hunters like yourself to explore and gather data from Ragol's surface. Job can be joined while in progress. I guess other players can join. I've never really messed with this enough to really find out, but I do believe others can join as long as uh, you have the game open to other players. But we're just going to be doing it by ourselves, just to show you the different quests and stuff. So now we're talking to the principal. Are you Asuka, the ranger? I'm Principal Tyrell. We have a bad situation. We need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Ragol? Very well. Pay attention and listen to me. We've lost contact with Pioneer One. We have no idea what has happened. We sent probes, but communication always gets cut off near the surface. What happened on Ragol and Pioneer One? Are the people still alive? The council made a decision to send a manned search team. You're a skilled ranger. We need your help. We have no choice. We need a place to settle on. Ask Irene, my secretary, for further details. 
Uh, could you... No, it's nothing. Take care and good luck. So let's talk to Irene over here. Well, let me brief you on your mission. Once you're on Ragol, check the status of the res residential area. Checking the status of the center dome is a good idea. A teleporter was launched earlier. You can go to Ragol directly from there, or from here. It may be a little risky, but so please be careful. That's all. Um, excuse me. Oh, sorry. No, nothing. I wish you the best of luck. So apparently they're hiding something from us. Maybe the maybe we'll find out what it is later. But let's go ahead and we've got to go down to the forest area again. Um, I'm not sure at what moment uh, these will go into the caves part, but I just wanted to show off the the first government quest. So it'll start off. And I can't remember this quest very well. It's been like a while since I've uh, actually completed these, so. They're still kind of new to me, unfortunately, so... Let's see here. Once again, it's time to feed my mag. Alright. And got some Boomas, of course. It's going to be more than you would normally have, because this is a multiplayer uh, game. But that'll be more experience points. Try to get through these as much as I can, as fast as I can. Do that normal hard heart attack to really wear them down. There we go. Getting some good experience for sure. Go ahead and grab stuff out of the boxes. Got five boomers here. That's good though. We need the experience to level up with. So actually we're close to leveling up. We need uh, 35 more points. So ah, I was right by it and I couldn't lock onto it. That's how it goes. <laughs> grab stuff. Well. A lot more enemies than I had remembered, but still good for experience. So, let's see here. Level 7. Like I said uh, at, at the beginning of the series, like if, when you get to level 20, you can actually go to uh, hard mode, but starting out, I don't recommend going there until maybe level 25, just to make sure you have a, a, a decent amount of strength and defense and stuff, and HP for sure. I'm kind of excited to get to some of the other areas of the game, like caves because we'll eventually start finding unknown weapons and stuff where we can get them uh, teched and they might have a, a special attack that might help us out. Maybe. That's all random and uh, uh, so you just uh, you never know what you're going to get. So. <laughs> Alright. Keep on killing the Boomas. Eventually, we will get uh, weapons that will hit more than one enemy at the same time, but right now we're just limited to our handgun. There are also other types of weapons. There are uh, actual rifles in the game that you can hit targets from a long distance, even further away than what we can with a handgun, which is pretty neat to have. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. I can't remember if this one's just Forced 1 or Forced 1 and Forced 2, but we'll see. 
but yeah they're not hard the government quests it's just that there's a lot of enemies on them they're made they made them so like if you um, want to do a mission and have other players uh, join you I think that's the biggest part of it okay cool now plus another reason why I wanted to do uh, all these side quests and stuff is to get us prepared for the next area because we're going we'll be going into the next area with just the weaponry that we found in the forest which is I mean it's okay but it's not that great we'll eventually find a better type of uh, handgun to use so that will help out So that's good to kill them Moness so they quit spitting up those moth mats. Go ahead and hit this switch over here. See what we get from these boxes real quick. Nothing rare so far, but that's normal because normal mode it, you won't really find anything rare unless you're really lucky. And there's really not any special weapons. If there is, it's not many anyway, in uh, normal mode. You usually don't start finding special weapons until you get to hard mode anyway, so that will take a while to get to. Right, back up. Oops. Messed up my combo on that one. There we go. And let's see here. More stuff. How am I doing on item stuff? Okay, 26. I can carry a few more items. Then we'll have to beam up and sell. It is kind of repetitious, but it is an MMO, so that's to be expected. But getting these done and out of the way is definitely good to do and it'll it's good experience for your character and you uh, earn Meseta to help with uh, your mag supplies and all that stuff too always do the runaway and shoot strategy because it's a good strategy to make a habit of as a ranger and sometimes even myself I just uh, get preoccupied with what I'm doing and don't realize I can run away and uh, actually I want to kill this guy first you over here probably gonna get jumped yep I'm just trying to kill this guy first gonna have to use a monomate all right they're all debuffing now okay let's get out of the way Because even though what I'm trying to say is that even though we're like level 7, we're, we're still even struggling in the forest a little bit with certain things. It's just that um, your character has such low level equipment at the start. So it's also a good reason why you want to get your levels up there before you go into the other uh, stages of the game like caves and all that stuff because you want to be prepared for it because it'll be a struggle if you don't so got some rag rappies it will be cool to find a rare one in an episode so far I haven't found one though after I finish this room I'm gonna go beam up and uh, sell some stuff need some more mag food anyway Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. Also, if you look up here, um, I'll try to do it while I'm running away. You'll see dots on your screen. The red arrow is your character. I don't think I ever mentioned that. I might have, but um, these dots on the screen are the enemies. And you can also kind of tell where the enemies are going to be coming from based upon the dots on your map and stuff.
nice uh, tool to have for sure. All right, and another wave maybe? Yep, another wave. Let's go ahead and head over there because uh, I'm gonna grab these boxes, break them open before we go back up. All right, cool. Um, antidote. Let's see. Break these open. All right, and uh, let's just run over here real quick because this is this uh, next room is where we'll be continuing. So let's go ahead and uh, pipe up. Go back to the shopping district, making sure that I there's nothing I don't want to keep. I'm pretty sure. There's nothing here I want to keep, excuse me. Alright. Oops, uh, yeah, bye. Okay, there we go. How's our MST? Um, we need to get to 51 to learn our rest of one, so we only need six more. Probably a couple more levels and we'll have it, I would say. Also, uh, we'll find units in the game that will increase your MST. They don't really help out like for as a character, but um, they're good to save up and use because they'll help you uh, get closer to learning uh, uh, other technique discs and stuff, especially higher level ones. Let's see. Okay, I was going to say. I think what we'll do to save some time is just go ahead and go to Force 2. I wouldn't normally do this, but this this quest is uh, a little bit longer than I thought it was. So we'll go ahead and skip a little bit of it, of the monsters and everything. There's a healing ring over there, but I really don't see any need in it. Anyway, let's uh, back up. We've got a, three Gigobumas over here. Almost got them. That one's stuck over there. <laughs> okay, come on. Almost got it. Let's go over here. We may have to actually do the whole forest. Now that I'm thinking about it. But I might be wrong. Or at least a good amount of it. See if I can uh, kind of strafe around them. Oh, yeah, there we go. They're gonna have me cornered way over there if I don't. Go ahead and take a monomate. I'm almost dead. All right, and you are gonna die. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go ahead and hit the switch in case I might need it. I, I, I def more than likely won't, but. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Oh, wow, a bunch of boxes here. Oh, and it's like getting darker for some reason. Just a bunch of uh, supplements, monomates, all that stuff. Grab all the uh, diamates, because uh, that way, if we can go ahead and have a, a stack of diamates when we start feeding uh, the power... Uh, feeding our mech stuff to increase its power that will help out too so this might be the last part of the mission let's see maybe savage wolves this is a little bit different than normal uh, it's been a while since I've done this quest too so I don't remember exactly the layout Okay. For some reason they're not able to jump on me right here. I don't know why. That's good. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, come on. Now get over here. Bunch of wolves over here. Watch out for them wolves, they'll try to get behind you. Alright, come on. Another music disc. 
Let's check this one out. Rhythm and balance. Oh yeah, this is from uh, Sonic Adventure 2, I know. I can't remember if it's a Green Forest stage or whatever. Oh man, they're all around me. Bunch of wolves is not fun because they they always like to flank you from behind. Ooh, a PSY armor, no slots though. Take a safety mono mate so it won't die. Situations like this, you want to make sure your health is topped out, especially at this stage in the game. And you're going to die. Alright. Another wolf. Bunch of wolves. Man, I've forgotten how many wolves over here. Alright, and you. Okay. So, we got all those. Let's see here. Oh, and now we got more stuff. Wolves and Mothmans. This would definitely be good if you're uh, playing a multiplayer. That way you'd have uh, teammates to help you out. But nonetheless, you know, it's still doable in solo mode. I've done it in solo mode, so. You can wait to do these when you're a lot higher level, um, but they're kind of more annoying at that point. Because you have to do all these stages in normal mode and you're not really getting much out of it. So, Whereas being a starting character and everything, we get more out of it than we would you know, being a high level character that's got a lot better gear and stuff. Uh, I'll sell the disc. We have Bardo level 1. Almost dead. And another wave? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe not. Uh. Uh oh. Recovered probe data. All right. So I guess, okay, yeah, we completed the mission. So this should take us back to Pioneer 2. We'll go talk to the principal again. But I'm pretty sure you have to talk to him before you complete the mission. And good job. Is that so? The route to the central dome was blocked off, so we couldn't get a handle on the situation. We sent the probes we recovered to the lab for analysis, and my, we were surprised, or were we surprised, excuse me. Um, Pioneer One had never reported anything involving creatures. That might be dangerous to humans. Why are they down there on Regal now? So that will be that. We go talk to Momoka. And we should be able to complete this quest. Very good. You have completed the job. This is the reward. Uh, please come again. The G journal counter helps you to enrich your life. So there we go. We completed that mission. So that's going to be all for this episode. Um, this is, uh, like I said, we're going to be doing these missions for a while. Um, however, when we get at least uh, the side story missions uh, complete, I might go ahead and just start a regular session in caves, um, just because I think we'll be able to handle it for the most part. Uh, we still got um, we still got a couple one, more ones. Let me go check real quick. Make a quick game real quick. See what we got left to do. All right. 
go over here to the guild counter real quick. Side story. Okay. Um, native research, which will open up another quest, so that will be two quests and then one more quest, so... I'll try to get this uh, native research one done uh, as quickly as possible. Um, I'll probably take some shortcuts on that just to complete it faster to save some time because, that, like I said, this will open, when you when you complete native research, it'll open up another quest, and uh, that one will take a little bit of time. So, but I, I I'm doing this to kind of show you guys the different uh, quests in the game that uh, have to complete. Uh, Dicting food. Um, this will take place in caves. And then there's like other stuff to do there, which I thought about doing this one, but this one's actually pretty long, so I may wait for now on that one. So, but I'm, I'm thinking about maybe taking a break before, like we'll get native research done, maybe uh, some other stuff done. Maybe do some, maybe do a multiplayer game just to show you guys what that's like, um, just to kind of break the monotony a little bit, but. Uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.